is one I also know very I lie, that's crumb. Um I <laughs> I thought that was gonna be Roy, but very similar matchup indeed. Uh, this time you're not gonna be wanting you're not gonna like worry about dying at 60 as Hero versus Roy. Oh, uh, was not fun. enough. And not even getting snooze out of the menu either, but we're keeping it pretty much even as much as we can right now. Carful is not playing hero today. Switch those names around. It feels like the every time I see uh, Carful play against Vivi, they go um, they go Chrom into them regardless of the character choice, whether it be like the Terry, the Lucario, the yeah. Hero. Like it's always kind of behoovened of them to say like, oh, I want to play Chrom. I want to I want to have that extra range. I want to have that full destroy. I want to like use what makes Chrom crazy with the little advantages over Roy making the most. Unfortunately, Krom is still going to. Every character is going to fall victim to psych up up tilt. That shit yeah, hits. That 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 do be hitting. <laughs> this uh, this up tilt is not hitting right. <laughs> and then three hours later, it's over. Same, but, with, same with that forward tilt though. Just catching a very very high air dodge. Vivi kind of having to hold that. Celerado online though, which means we got two blisteringly fast characters, and Vivi's the one that gets the first hit. Absolutely. Maybe again, you have two very fast characters, but Celerado is going to make Hero the fastest character in the game, right? Right in front of Sonic, first of all. Okay, let me tell you that much. But it does not matter because now that Carpo is back in the Avenger state right here, trying to get some extra percentage as well. Not getting any punish off of the high uh, recovery off of the Kaswoosh though. And now it's another Celerado that Vivi has pulled right out of the menu. Carful un, un you know just unadulterate that just does not does not care is going to keep using these up airs because you know what hero doesn't have good aerial day any kind of like aerial comeback with that and that's hello they had enough time to pull menu but not enough time to stop their own momentum falling into the blast and at the very last moment that allows Carflow to just unlock his full offensive juggernaut. Because now you don't care about keeping on, uh, keeping your same stock as your opponent. You can freely like risk it all in every single one of these openings. VB forced to try and find answers, but that aerial frame that you keep mentioning, my like, it's just, not it. just getting swarmed. It's just not it. If Hero's aerial, uh, just in the air in general, is not where he wants to really be. He wants to. I mean, Hero himself likes to be on the ground, likes to pull out menu, likes to get his buffs going. And whenever he does find the air, that's for as we find those aerials, like the forward air and the back air, hit very consistently. VV at 89% and counting, and they finally bounce just to just, just do some priming, get bounced out of the way for another couple of minutes, uh, just so it doesn't get pop up the menu for a little bit longer. It gets more space for other options, like Zoom, for example. Zoom priming is so important in this matchup because you don't want Carflow to run at you off stage, but Carflow does not care. 115% is crazy. Ooh, catching the air dodge there, Mommy. Seeing VV just try and hold on to that steady game plan, letting Carflow find these grabs that parry was super nice, but out of the range in order to, work to find a punish. Vivi's still holding center stage and playing the the quintessential comeback game. Hold center, make Carflow work for every single inch that you give. And this is getting mighty, mighty close on, not to mention the anti-X factor that Krom has. If you find Carflow off stage, that could just be a great zoom uh, placement as well. You're not getting fall not falling victim into any sort of traps that Carflow finds him in. Me personally, I look for flag. That's me personally. But that's not gonna take it. You gotta do it. <laughs> not gonna take it quite yet. That is another zoom for your efforts. That's I think that's pretty much the amount of zooms you might be able to get off stage in a row. Switching back to the ledge, and what can we see here? Trying to use the Frozo for some other pressure right here, and doing another one for your efforts. That one connecting quite smoothly, getting a last hit of back there before you get right back on the stage. And now it's, it's Vivi's turn for some uh, ledge pressure right here. We're gonna go for the whack, we're gonna go for a heal, go for a crackle slash. Neither, none of the above really were going to hit, and that's your jump and disadvantage. That's where Carful was going to go for you. That's what we wanted. That is so tough for Vivi, because twice over, you're holding on to your menu, waiting for Carflow to be forced to hit uh, Soaring Slash, be forced to go for that up B. You're just like, I want to I wanna get this, I want to get it right. I don't want to mess up these timings by like uh, by over committing or choosing an option too soon. But Carflow is just in air dodge range. But Vivi commits to the hero. After such a playing a near perfect last stock, they commit to it with a slight change. You got to get the different skin going. The wrong one, but that's so just me though. <laughs> not just me though. Luminary is all right, I guess. You know, Eric's right there, and a and solo and their alternates. But
But I respect the character change. This is, this is a character change, ladies and gentlemen. And Jab 1 2 coming in close just to get Carpho. Again, this is a nice lead that VB has going for themselves right here. But when Carpho is able to get that advantage state going, it, they kind of just. He goes with it and takes it and runs. And VB has to kind of hold that as the inferior sortie in this matchup. Because in terms of all the sorties, Hero is like. Weird, because he doesn't have the speed that they do, but he at least has uh, the menu, right? Hero has menu, he has all these other projectile options, and the sword is don't. Yeah, the sword is less of a... It's less of a game plan and more of a medium of... Uh a medium of reach, right? Yes. Like the game plan from Hero centers around these spells and centers around uh, setting up different... That's uh, beautiful. Uh, it kind of leads into exactly what I was going to finish my thought with, which is uh, setting up different checkmate kind of situations where if you're able to pull menu and able to set up things like Psych Up Oomph or things like uh, Black Setups, Kabooms, all of these different tools and zooms off stage, you kind of give yourself the ability to say, like, my range is almost a little bit bigger, even if it's not as consistent. Yes, absolutely agree with you. At the end of the day, Hero's range is probably the best in the game. <laughs> if yeah. you really want to think mean, about Kaboom it. I mean, Kaboom goes crazy. But Kaboom is kind of big, guys. But regardless of the fact we're back in even game, Carpho is slowly starting to hit his lead back up, and we're going with these all amazing up airs. Keeps Hero at a, at a, at a disadvantage state, and BB is again struggling to get back down. It's impossible to get a time a really good air dodge or otherwise get a zoom and, and like the most nick of time. Otherwise, you're going to be keeping into the air for a little bit too long. Now back again in another place, uh, another pressure situation that you guys deal with. Man, Vivi really preferring to go for a lot more zooms, even if they are in range. And then the pivot F tilt, and along with dashing with it to get close to those side blast zones and just say, like, I have got this timing, I have got you down pat, and you, what well, you may be in Accelerado, but no one can keep up with my speed. And just with how fast Carflow is playing, it's, it's very easy to see why. I mean, Carvo's one of those players that, you know, when, when he sees blood in the water, he is going to fiend for it. Especially if he has a whole stock uh, lead, he does not care. He's going to rush in, and he knows he's in a good spot. He knows that we are going for options that are so unsafe, like that forest okay. smash trying to get Hail Mary right there. I'm going to go for a really, really unsafe recovery option, thankfully going much closer to the ledge, but that's going to get into a uh, another Jair situation. Zoom, again, like you are saying, a lot of zoom priming. And that definitely gonna be a psych up up on deck right here. We'll let him go for an, uh, an up tilt or a F tilt. Not taking it. It needed to be a little bit more of the airspeed getting just by Excel Rottle and there we go. just the frizz. It looks like Carflow wasn't expecting expecting uh, Vivi to charge it up a little bit. Now you've got Oomph and Excel Rottle online. And opportunities abound if you can find your way back. Excel Rottle just running out and the angle just slightly off at the very end of there, having to. I mean, you're forced to go for it, and Carflow passing the skill check and finishing Vivi off with, with it by not letting him get back to stage, taking that set two to zero. Down there into the media F tilt is crazy. That's yeah. fast. And, wow. Crom, no, Chrom down there, like, and uh, by extension Roy's, mm -hmm. it's nearly the same frame data, like same startup time, same active time, but a little bit more end lag than Falcon Dare. So you can just kind of like do it. You can just do it, yeah. and you'll be fine. And if you're close to the ground, you're, you recover much faster. So it's just like, and how close that Carpenter was to the ground there? Yeah, he's definitely gonna just stand right back up and then just F two. And I just hero stocks are hero stocks are down. Yeah, it's just a shame. But it, like you see the the flexibility that hero can provide, but that assumes that he, that your opponent actually gives you the time of day. And that's like that's something that you can't always assume in a, mm -hmm. in a uh, meta game that's so oriented around a uh, defense and punish game. Yeah, hero can sometimes feel really strong against the more defensive oriented players, but if you've got a more punish game oriented player, regardless of matchup, they can just kind of smother you and get in your face and stop you from having some of your best tools online. It's just really difficult when you, you know that matchup, the Croy uh, matchup, right? Versus Hero is like, it's so heavily debated in the Hero community because it's just like, we feel like we're losing, but I was like, nah, we're even, we're even. Yeah. And I'm like, hopium, hopium. 